In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can gather data from still images of type logs and bring them into the 21st century using a type log digitizer. What is a type log? According to the Indiana Geological Survey, or more commonly known as IGS, a type log is geophysical logs in the PDMS that portray rock properties measured with wireline logging tools. Or, in other words, it is a chart or graph that displays data in a wireline format of rocks and other sediments. So why are these important? They can tell us useful information about the soil or rocks and even the formations under the surface of the earth, information that many oil companies and petroleum engineering facilities use to determine where to drill to find oil. Luckily, the same method of charting this data has stayed roughly the same over the years, except for one notable difference. Where once this information was taken down by hand, now it is mostly, if not all, digital. Which bears the question, what can you do with the physical paper type logs that are now out of date and hold no digital data? Instead of taking the expensive route of drilling for new data, you can simply use a type log digitizer to gather tangible data from your scanned type logs. Let us start by looking at a typical type log. Type logs will usually come in one of two formats, either a logarithmic chart or a standard chart. For this example, we will be using both and explaining the difference between the two. We will also be using the Type Log Digitizer Log Evolve version 1.2.2. Let us first start with the standard log. It should be noted that almost all of the procedures are the same for both standard and logarithmic logs. The first step is to locate and open the selected type log into Log Evolve. Acceptable file types are JPG or JPEGs, PNG, BMP or Bitmap. GIF and TIFF images. Once your image is open, you might notice that the type log was scanned in at an angle. With most digitizing software, this would be a problem as they were not designed to compensate for this factor. LogEvolve, however, comes with its own image editing capabilities. LogEvolve can rotate your images by said degrees adjust the brightness, and even allow for filters to better display the active type log. Once your image is set and ready to digitize, start by clicking the Line Up Log button located at the top of the software. The active graph will then populate. Drag the graph and line up the edges of the graph with the edges of your type log on the shortest axis. In most cases, the x-axis for the typical type log. Once the shortest axis is lined up, you can either line up the entire log, if it is visible on the screen, or line up the nearest known points on the opposite axis. Once the chart is lined up on both the x and y axis, it is time to set your scale and limits. On the right of your screen, you can see the minimum and maximum values for both your X and Y axes. These numbers represent the orientation of the chart over the type log. Fill in the corresponding numbers as they appear under the chart. It is at this point that we can specify that the type log is either a standard log or a logarithmic log. By selecting the logarithmic option, you can see that the chart changes to an exponential calculation. By default, LogEvolve will assume that the new log is a standard log. If the graph has an incorrect x or y axis orientation, this can be changed in the Options and Chart Options menu. Almost all of these steps up to this point are standard with most digitizing software. LogEvolve has another major feature that sets it aside from the other digitizers. LogEvolve, being specifically made for digitizing well logs, has a built-in artificial intelligence unit, also known as an AI, that will allow the user to move the chart and advance the digitizer to a new location without compromising previously targeted data. 
To activate the AI, go to Options and Chart Synchronization. With the AI turned on, you are now ready to digitize your type log. On the left side of your screen, the second tool down is a pen tool. Select this tool and go to your chart. With this tool selected, either click on your chart where the type log data begins or hold down with your left mouse button to add points. This feature works with design pen tablets, touch screens, and even the newest Windows Touch tablet. Simply trace over your type log and advance the chart as needed. If the color of the line or data points are not what you would prefer, those can be changed on the left. The line by default is lime green and the data points are red. When advancing the chart, you will notice that the data points relocate and find their previous location. This is the AI in action, advancing your data so you can continue digitizing your chart without starting over, like most digitizers would have you do. Another feature that was requested and implemented into LogEvolve was the addition of tops. LogEvolve allows for the addition of tops to be added to your digitized log. By selecting the Add Top tool, on the left the user can specify the top name and click to add the top to their digitized log. If the top would need to be moved, simply select the Move Top option, select the data point for the top, and move the point either up or down to adjust location. If the color of the top would need to be changed, first change the color option of the top, then select the top point with the top color editor selected. Once your type log is digitized, you will need to export the data. To do this, go to File, Save As, and you can choose to either export this as a project file, which is a compressed zip document, an Excel document, or a CSV file. For this presentation, I will be showing the Excel file. When you click on the Excel file type, another window will appear, asking you for information regarding your company, this type log, and the client. All of this information is optional and is also programmable if wanted. For this presentation, I will be leaving the presets alone and continuing to export to Excel. With this final step, you can see that your digitized data is now in an Excel document with images, including the original image of the digitized type log. On Sheet 2 of the Excel document, you can see the specified information about the type log, company, and client we previously skipped over. If you would like to know more about LogEvolve or our other software, please follow the link below. Free trials are available of all of our products. If you have any questions, please feel free to email our support at support at greattechnical.com.